Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on Friday here, 21st of April. It's a weird week, right? Um, dollar yen basically arrived at the sort of terminal rate uh, that we were expecting that sort of 134.90, 135.30, 135.13 the high, um, but yet all the yen crosses stayed bid even as dollar yen turned and, and it took dollar yen 36 hours to turn, right? So it's 40 given, 90 paid, 40 given, 88 paid, um, this is dancing in its little sociopathic dance uh, most of the day, Wednesday and Thursday. And now here we are um, on the 133 handle. Aussie Yen um, has capitulated lower. I wouldn't say capitulated. You can see this bar, uh, four hourly bar, looks like capitulation, but it's just a turn, right? So uh, all of the Yen crosses have turned. So you've got Aussie Yen. You've got. I don't even want to talk about Swiss yen, but maybe Swiss yen after, after what, a thousand point move in a straight line? Like someone, someone's going to have to call me on the, on the sidebar and explain what the fuck is going on in Swiss yen. Uh, anyway, Euro yen has turned and Sterling yen has turned. So this is interesting. Looks like more of a buildup of more risk off. Um, and this is part of our focus today. Let's um let's have a look at this cable chart. This thing's been also on the road to nowhere um this week. We got that inflation data super hot. I mean ten percent like Mio Dio Minkia. Uh for those of you who speak Italian. A uh, Minkia actually means pussy. Um, but the Italians say it, they say it, it kind of translates to jeepers, jeepers, creepers. Um, but the actual literal meaning is pussy, so it's one of those wonderful um, sort of swear words. Um, I encourage you all to use it uh, in your daily life as, as, as much as possible. Minkia, cable, look at this cable chart, minkia. Um... We are looking at it because now we have a little bit of a break trade here on our hands. 124.75, got some clear air above that. Um, a lot of people are going to be maybe drawing a pennant here. I won't draw it. You guys all have your little etch-a-sketch skills. You can draw it yourself. But 124.75 um, could be meaningful. And what's the story here? Obviously, you got 10% inflation. BOE has to go higher for longer, um, but also with this turn in dollar yen, are we getting back on this horse of, you know, dollars fucked, debt ceiling, politics, um, you know, gun crime, whatever, the demise of America, this is like the elephant in the room that everybody's talking about, um, we don't care one way or the other, we're just traders here, but the big title money is going to be going to plunge in on the short side when the dollar goes higher now it's just going to be stopping out some of the weak hands on the dollar lower trade we feel like this is the direction uh, of travel probably for the next year um, you know this is gold a lot higher this is euro to 130 this is dollar yen back to 108 blah 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 um, so when we see these setups here like this, so we've got the sterling side, rates higher for longer. We got the dollar demise side, 31 trillion in debt. Uh, you know, a crumbling, a crumbling population, an unhealthy population, um, an angry population, political malaise. It's all in there, um, and I guess maybe some would argue. Uh, maybe this is why Swiss francs are so good. You know, who knows? Uh, this is why dollar Swiss can't get off its knees. Um, which would you rather own, Swiss francs or U.S. dollars? 
I mean, it's a rhetorical question. You always want to own Swiss francs instead of U.S. dollars, but, you know, currencies flow. Dollar Swiss is not flowing. Dollar Swiss is literally, you know, pinned, pinned at the lows. Um, what is that saying? Anyway, I uh, I digress. One uh, one twenty four seventy five. That's a break trade. Um, let's look at some of um, some of the other Aussie crosses because Aussie is now interesting. As Aussie is now going to catch some more downward momentum. We talked about short Aussie Kiwi yesterday. It really didn't do much. Um, again, we have this little confluence of signals here. Uh, we have you know two and a half three standard deviations from from the mean um, and we have the 200 day moving average here at 109.41 so getting short Aussie Kiwi uh, in this realm here uh, makes a lot of sense to us I know the macro data out of New Zealand you know sucks the duck but um, you know the risk off I think pressures of Aussie uh, and you can see what happened to Aussie dollar last night Aussie is a risk off proxy so we had we had dollar lower which brought you know rates went down rates rates are sitting here what 352 now down from 362 um, this punched Aussie higher but then just this risk off came in, came into play and Aussie and obviously is your is your horse for this um, I wouldn't hit the bid down here, as again, you just want to try and sell this up at 90.30 today if we get back up there. Um, but anyway, Aussie Kiwi, we want to fade that, uh, fade that up between, um, 10, up between 30, I guess between, I guess 15 and, 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 and 35 is, is going to be the, is going to be the place. What else? Let's look at Euro Norway. Crude obviously is getting smoked, um, but Euro Norway is like very, very thin air up here. Um, where is Euro Norway? Ah, there she is. 1163. So this is. Um, that was an odd. Uh, see these bars. This was the turn here. This was the change. The, the change in day. So this this never traded here. Um, this is why like the best chartists are guys who just sit here like muppets all day, like me watching price, because this bar right here is gonna fuck every trend line for the next month, right? Because that did not trade 11.57, I don't know where they get that fucking number from. This thing never traded below 1160. Um, so, sorry. Sorry, trading view. Blow me. Um, but you can see how that can be problematic now. So, some some joker who's like, oh, look at this trend line here. This connects with this, and this is cute. And Yeah, wow, look. It's a real good uptrend. That, you know, that, that line actually doesn't exist. That's like a snuffleupagus. Um, it's a snuffleupagus line. Anyway, back to Euro Norway. Um, we are we are in this little stretchy zone, but you want to be super careful, right? So if you wanna if you wanna ride <laughs> ride the the Norwegian pony, um, you might want to wait, right? So maybe maybe high 60s. Why is that? Look at crude. I mean, how many times do we try and get short this fucker? Um, and w even worse, how many times do we try and get long between 70 and 68? And how many times have we tried to get fucking short between 80 and 81? I don't even want to talk about it. Uh, both, <laughs> both the trades, you know, were worth 10 bucks. This one's not worth 10 bucks yet, but it will be. Uh, neither of which we, we harvested any cash. Point is, uh, not that I suck at trading oil. The point is, is um, Oil looks fucking weak, and we talked about this a little bit yesterday. What is this? How does this add to the story, right? Weak oil is the recession trade. It's whatever. The world is going into some sort of black vortex hole. Whether it's true or not, it doesn't matter. Um, this is what's on the frontal lobe, and so 
this spills into like why are we short Oz again why are we like yen higher yen crosses lower uh if we were trading equities we would be trading them on the short side uh, we are not um and then this goes back to your euro norway even though this is stretched and it's in rarefied air um you got to be careful right because as oil um, gets clubbed like a baby seal uh euro norway tends to float a little bit higher anyway let's look at the calendar real quick today where the risks are we've got a lot of this french uh german services and manufacturing pmi coming out today 9 15 9 30 um and then 10 30 is the uk i mean imagine if the uk numbers come in stronger after that inflationary number here this goes back to our little break trade at 75 um that's something worth watching for if you don't have uh, institutional liquidity do not trade over these numbers you'll just get fucked um, but if you do have institutional liquidity uh, there can be some money to be made here and then uh, at the back end today we've got us also manufacturing and services pmi uh, i would say less interesting um, and the number to watch is the uk number i guess but you know we've got all of these um pmi numbers out today let's see if this shit comes in a little bit hotter if it comes in hotter uh certainly in europe and the uk um you know you want to look to buy euros maybe euro swiss which is on its knees at 97 90 um but euro dollar i think is the is a better horse actually um and then cable if uh, the uk numbers come in hot anyway no great great setups we're obviously looking at the sterling uh we're playing on the short side of aussie kiwi and you know that 109 25 40 level here heading into the 200 day moving average um and we'll be selling rallies in aussie end today i've said enough have a good weekend everybody talk to you monday ciao